Hey guys, and welcome back to Z3 Cubing. Today I'm gonna do one turn per mile to solve this one by one by two. In my hands is a one by one by two Rubik's Cube, and behind me is a really big lake with a trail going all the way around it. Today, I'm gonna be attempting a crazy challenge. I'm gonna try and solve this one by one by two, but with a catch. I'm only allowed to do one turn on it for every mile that I run around this lake. Now just to clarify, because a lot of people get confused about this, any outer layer movement counts as one turn. It can be 90 degrees or 180 degrees, so it can be a U or a D2, just no slice layers allowed. Now I just generated a brand new random scramble on my phone, so I'm gonna hold this with white on top and green facing me and go ahead and do that scramble real quick. And there we go. Now that the cube has been completely scrambled, I'm not allowed to do a single turn on it until I am one mile down that trail. Now I'm not sure exactly how many miles it'll take me. Of course, I wanna minimize the amount of miles that I have to run, so I might plan out a solution ahead of time, but I'm not gonna do any sort of crazy FMC. I'm gonna use exactly the same method that I would normally use to solve a one by one by two. So those are all the rules. Hopefully they're not too complicated and you understand them all, but don't worry, I think it'll make more sense once we actually start the challenge. I'm a little bit nervous because this is definitely one of the most ambitious one turn per mile projects I've ever embarked on, but you know what? I think I can do it. Let's go get started. So here we are at mile zero on day one. I mean, I don't expect it to take more than one day, but you never know. Anyway, let's get started. Here we are at mile one, as you can see there. We're almost to the end of the dam. It's time for our first move. I have high expectations for this one. I'm gonna do a U. Darn it. Looks like the clouds came out for mile two, lovely. And I've spent the last nine minutes thinking of the best move to do in this situation. And I think it's gonna be U2. Well, guess that one didn't work either. Nearing the end of day one, and this looks like a lovely spot to spend the night. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, we're still at mile two. Mile three, and I think I have a trick up my sleeve this time. You ready for this? I'm gonna do a D2. Ah, I feel like I keep getting so close, yet still so far. One more mile. Now to all the people who say, well, why do we only see him walking every mile if he said he was gonna be running? Well, this is why. It's really hard to hold the camera steady and talk coherently while actively running. Mile four. I'm just gonna try the last new move that I haven't tried yet in hopes of maybe that one will work. So, you prime? Nope, seems like no such luck. Well, I certainly didn't choose the most exciting trail in the world, but I swear it's the most interesting thing I could find that wasn't buried in snow. Wait, 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 I just thought of another type of U-move that I haven't tried yet. Hear me out, mile five, U3. Uh, never mind, forget that ever happened. Oh, hey there, do you guys have any idea how to solve this thing? Yeah, me neither. Okay, mile six, I think it's time for a new strategy. I'm actually gonna do an F prime. Call me crazy, but I think this will unlock a whole new world of possibilities at the next mile. Just when I thought this trail couldn't get any lamer, now we've got an interstate. Exciting. Mile seven. Are you ready for this? I think I'm really onto something here. L. Huh. I thought for sure that one would work. Uh-oh. I guess the trail is closed because of birds or something. So time to turn around. Mile eight. I found my way to a random road, but this detour is a real L. No, wait, I already tried that. So this is my life now. I'm kind of starting to miss that boring trail. Hey, at least you're not running on the interstate. Mile nine. Kind of getting desperate here. How about an R2? Ah, so close! Well, I managed to find the other end of the closure, so that's a relief. Honestly though, after 10 miles, we're now back to where we started, and I think I'm ready to just give up here and take the L. Prime! Haha! <clears throat> what I meant was, after 10 miles of running, over the course of 93 minutes, that's one day and zero nights, with 147 feet of vertical gain, I have finally finished solving this one by one by two, one turn per mile. This is truly one of the most difficult challenges I have ever done on this channel. Heck, one of the most amazing things I have ever accomplished in life. But I hope you all enjoyed the process because there's people coming and I wanna stop talking like a madman. So I'll see you guys next time.